Peoples around the world have long taught their cultural histories through structurally common narratives of heroes who embark on life-changing journeys where real and supernatural beings are encountered. Each culture carries with them their own unique characters and geographies that reinforce their narrative. We find such a hero in Homer's Odyssey, where the Greek warrior leads a fight against the giant one-eyed Cyclops. His journey left us with a map of the ancient world. In Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, the hero hobbit Frodo travels from the Shire through Middle-earth to Mount Doom in Mordor. Along the way, he encounters physical and mental obstacles that complete him as an individual. This is an epic animistic journey, where people communicate with trees, hybrids of all sorts abound, and that we can visually revisit with a map. In the Pacific Northwest, where I live, Old Coyote plays an important role in sacred narratives among Native Americans. In this image from the Bridge of the Gods sacred narrative, we can see Old Coyote, the Four Swallow Sisters, Spring Chinook Salmon swimming up the lower Columbia River, and in the background, Wyeast, also known today as Mount Hood. Wyeast has a quarrel with his brother over the mutual desire, who are also mountains, that was projected through their volcanic eruptions. All these characters explain how their cosmoscape came to be. One can learn the regional geography, cultural traditions, and Native American names in this sacred narrative. Before we continue on, thank you for giving me the opportunity to present my work at this year's American Association of Geographers annual meeting. My name is Bernie Taylor, and my research explores a deep route to mankind's creative capacity by looking at how hunter-gatherers and ancient peoples viewed their cosmoscape through the study of Upper Paleolithic cave art. In this presentation today, we will explore some elements of an Ice Age myth to find our time and place, as well as develop tools to approach other narratives from a geographical perspective. These images may also help us better understand the minds of peoples who communicated with other animals, their journeys through the landscapes, and unique connections with night sky. Let us now travel into the deep caves of 10,000 years ago when animism was the dominant belief perspective. That cave is in a mountain of the same name called Monte El Castillo, located in Cantabria on the far north of the Iberian Peninsula. Deep within the El Castillo cave on a 10-meter across limestone panel called the Gallery of Discs, there are more than 80 red discs. Each is on average about the size of the palm of your hand. One disc among them has been dated to at least 34,000 years old. On this panel, we find a teacher and apprentice. Note the wide, interested eyes of the apprentice and how the teacher speaks into his ear. Perhaps he can tell us more about how to find our way in time and space. Let's listen in. Also listening in on the shoulder of the teacher is a fledging golden eagle that stands about a foot tall. This is roughly a mid to late time June period for the young eagle. There is also this masked cosmic man, whose left leg and right arm are raised. The right hand holds what appears to be an egg. His left arm has a feathered texture. These bird features transform him into a superhero who can fly. We can take a closer look at the mask of the cosmic man. Note that he has one eye on the left side of his face, and the right is the beak of an eagle. One can see the impression of a nose below the mask, and what appears to be a mouth and teeth above a dropped chin. When we turn our heads sideways, the teacher and the fledging golden eagle transform into the mask of the cosmic man. See how the artist used the juvenile eagle to form a beak on the cosmic man's mask? On this panel, we find a speckled mare. She appears to be leaping with her head turned as if agitated. Our cosmic man merges with the speckled mare to give him speed in what the ancient Greeks would have interpreted as a centaur. We encounter another transformation, where a mask is put on to become a birdman or avianoid. Note that our hero's left hand is feathered and behind his back. This is also the feathered left hand of the cosmic man. They are the same character. On our journey, we encounter a mother Iberian lynx with a slightly tipped head and whose kitten pushes up against her ruff. This is a mid-June time period based on the depicted stage of the kitten and is consistent with that of the fledging eagle. 
we enter a marine environment to encounter a giant crab lurking under a ledge. The opening in the rock that the Gallery of Discs crab emerges from is nearly identical to a natural geological formation at the northern end of the Rock of Gibraltar. The Ice Age artist copied a crab founded in Pareidolia, that apparently unique ability in the human mind to find impressions of images in rock formations, the clouds, and even among the stars in the night sky. With this close-up shot at a different angle, we can see the Pareidolia impression of a crab's right arm and claw among the diagonal lines in the limestone rock. These natural features of the rock at the southern tip of the Iberian Peninsula were the inspirations for the gallery of discs crab character. Continuing across the panel, we look up and are greeted by a monk seal. The gallery of discs monk seal has a fairly good resemblance in mirror to another geological formation on the north end of the Rock of Gibraltar. I use the words geological formation from a modern scientific perspective. To the cave artist, each character was a spiritual being. There is a spinning bottlenose dolphin with a bent beak. Note that the dolphin is depicted above the surf. We have features on the Gallery of Discs dolphin that came from Paradolia on the Rock of Gibraltar that again call to the landscape as the Ice Age artist's source. The artist viewed the lower fluke and dorsal fin at the high points. There is the flipper from the rock outcrop and the mouth and bent bottlenose beak that extend along the ridgeline. This was not the complete perspective of the Ice Age artists. Tens of thousands of years ago, the sea level was much lower due to water being held in glaciers. The rock of Gibraltar would have appeared to be lifted above the surf. Note that the scale on my illustrated map varies from this perspective. My illustrated map to the viewer's left does not have the current man-made structures on the rock. We can compare my illustrated map with a modern photograph and a late 1800s illustrated historical map from slightly different perspectives. Note the subsurface feature indicated by the red arrow. We will return to this feature shortly. Our hero merges with the dolphin to become a merman, who is reminiscent of the shape-shifting old man of the sea in the Hercules myth. He meets a woman in distress, see her sunken chin and cheeks, sorrowful eyes, and long braided hair accentuated by the red discs. The woman has many features of Jebel Musa on the Moroccan coast of the Strait of Gibraltar. Jebel means mountain in Arabic, and the word Musa may be the name of a prominent Muslim or biblical Moses. The natural geological features look more like a pregnant woman than a man, as do those on the gallery of discs. The difference between the two are the chin and nose, both of which could have been eroded on Jebel Musa over the last 34,000 years. In antiquity, Jebel Musa and the Rock of Gibraltar were considered to be the pillars of Hercules that are featured on Spain's coat of arms and the cover of this presentation. We can see Jebel Musa in the distant background behind the Rock of Gibraltar. Returning back to the gallery of discs on the journey home, we see a breaching humpback whale. Note that the whale is depicted above the surf in the same manner as the dolphin, the whale that our hero rides happily home in. We can find a Pareidolia origin of the Gallery of Discs whale at the Rock of Gibraltar, where the now submerged fluke is still visible below the water. The dorsal fin is a point on the western shore, and the rostrum that forms the mouth opens to the north. The submerged fluke is the defining feature for the whale. I would not have recognized the whale or dolphin Pareidolia on the Rock of Gibraltar had I not previously seen them on the Gallery of Discs. The open area between the two peaks that I have marked by the red arrows could have been viewed as the ventral pleats of the whale where our hero actually rides. He couldn't travel in the belly of the whale. We all know that would be impossible. That is the same wide-eyed hero who we also find as Pareidolia, pictured here from two angles on the northern rock of Gibraltar face. His round face jumps out from the limestone of the Gallery of Discs and Rock of Gibraltar. To the viewer's far right, on the gallery of discs are the eagle that perches on the shoulder of the teacher, who transforms into the cosmic man. I have rotated the lower gallery of discs image to portray the cosmic man with his beaked mask, as depicted earlier in this presentation. Around the corner from the apprentice to a northern point on the rock of Gibraltar are the Paradolia perched eagle 
who when rotated becomes the beak of the cosmic man's mask. A face origin for the Gallery of Discs teacher is not clear. The Rock of Gibraltar Paradolia eagle faces southward and in the same direction as the Gallery of Discs reproduction. The Rock of Gibraltar Paradolia cosmic man with the beak mask gazes skyward as also directionally depicted on the Gallery of Discs. You can tilt your head to the right for the Rock of Gibraltar Paradolia Cosmic Man with the Beak Mask Skyward perspective. This shape-shifting transformation derives from overlapping Paradolia characters. We can view all of our Gallery of Discs characters that are built on Rock of Gibraltar Paradolia with my illustrated map. The illustration is a little busy, but we can see how the Ice Age artists found and utilized the high and low areas for the relevant features of the animals. On our journey, we have also learned a great deal about the Greater Iberian Peninsula region. That geography is depicted on the Gallery of Discs, where terrestrial animals indigenous to the Iberian Peninsula are depicted at the top of the panel, marine animals in the middle, and the image of Jebel Musa in western North Africa on the bottom of the panel, as oriented in this direction. The red discs that run down the center are oriented north to south, there is also a Zoo of Africa animals on the bottom third of this panel map that we don't have time to discuss today. We have also mapped our cosmic man who is Hercules as all of the described animals are within his body. The woman is behind his left leg. This journey was not just across land in the strait. We can turn back time to mid-June some 35,000 years ago with Starry Night Pro 8, an astronomical software to see these depicted human and animal beings on the gallery of discs in the night sky as constellations. We can recognize many of them in the ancient Greek astronomical record, traveling from north to south at the top of the panel as oriented in this direction. We have the masked cosmic man, who is the constellation Hercules. The eagle that he merges with is Aquila. The eagle also merges with the horse that is Pegasus to give her wings. On the shore is the seal, which the Greeks found to be the monster Cetus. I suppose that if one heard a seal in the dark, it might sound monstrous. In that great astronomical expanse, we call the sea, it is the bottlenose dolphin Pisces, which is swimming southward, and the whale that returns the apprentice home in the opposite direction. The ancient Greeks told of Hercules kicking away a giant crab, that is now in another area of the sky as a constellation Cancer. The missing links and boy are astronomical curiosities. Morocco has other sites associated with the mythical hero, such as the Cave of Hercules, where he is said to have rested before his eleventh labor. The cave is a two days walk southwest from Jebel Musa. Note that Google Maps uses five kilometers per hour to calculate walk times. The walk and swim from Cantabria, Spain to the cave of Hercules in Morocco takes about 21 days and roughly a thousand kilometers to cover in each direction. The stretch across the Strait of Gibraltar takes about three hours to span for a strong swimmer. The strait might take a little longer to swim if one is playing with dolphins. The Ice Age map of animals, Paradolia in the rocks and constellations above, may have been depicting a shorter journey from the rock of Gibraltar into western North Africa. All of these land, sea, geological formation, animal, and stellar maps are a record that can continue to be passed down to new students who will become the teachers. In a time and place where the ordinary and fantastical lived among us on the terrestrial plane that was mirrored in both the underworld and the sky realm, such that we can refine, map in the mythical imagination. Thank you again for the opportunity to speak at this year's American Association of Geographers annual meeting and traveling with me deep into our past to surface real and supernatural characters as well as legendary places. I hope that the structural characteristics of this refound journey are applied to regional indigenous sacred narratives, ancient myths, and even great epics of our time to teach geographical uniqueness and cosmoscapes of the original educators. More on my work can be found at these sites. I'm always open to cooperate on projects and virtually present this methodology to community and academic audiences.